after the confession of an APC chieftain that they brought in Fulanese from Mali, Senegal, and other African countries to win 2015 election, Femi Fani Kayode and Nigerians has reacted. Nigerians calling for President Muhammadu Buhari to resign immediately. You know, um, not too long ago, a few hours ago, we presented to you that uh, an APC chieftain who was once in PDP, joined APC, you know, was talking about uh, what happened in Ilori. Uh, he was talking about the problem of the Fulani headsmen and what we are presently experiencing. He said this is as a result of some of the things they did back then in 2015. That they actually brought in, this is him speaking, a reported speech. So it's not, he is not, um, it's not alleged, okay? He said they actually brought in this Fulanese into Nigeria to help them win this election. Remember that the Fulanese, when you see them, I mean, there is really, apparently, if you don't know, there's no discrepancy between them. You can't really, you know, differentiate, okay? So, he said they brought them in to make sure that they, uh, Buhari wins the election. And after the election, they have refused to go back. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. After APC Chieftain confesses that Fulanese were brought in from Mali, Senegal to win 2015 general election, FFK, Nigerians have reacted asking President Muhammadu Buhari to resign immediately. You know, there are so many things that Buhari needs to really resign like yesterday. Honestly speaking, there are too many evidences. On the third day of this month, Kwari Bajeri, a former PDP chairman who is now in APC, while speaking in Ilori as part of the activities organized by the MACT to mark his 70th birthday, track the current insecurity situation in the country to the Fulanese, that they were brought into the country by APC to carry out election activities in 2015 and since then they have refused to leave nigeria remember we presented you that news that they have refused to leave nigeria yes okay so let's continue he said that people are not asking the real questions of how the same set of fulanese we have been living together all of a sudden became killers we must ask how they got the guns they are using to carry out these activities. He said Fulani men carrying, causing chaos in the country now are not Nigerian Fulani. Nigerian Fulanis are peace-loving people. Remember, they walk along with you. You can see them on your farm. They will greet you and pass peacefully. These are the ones brought in from African country to help President Muhammad Buhari win the election in 2015. They were given these ammunitions to ensure that they win the election at the time. Afterwards, they have refused to go home, and the ammunition has been left with them. Tons of ammunition were bought for them. You see why I cannot pity Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu? I have nothing against him. As a matter of fact, I've never met him in person one for one. He was part of the people. I'm not saying he bought ammunition, but listen to me, please. Let's follow my trail of thought. He was part of the people who really, truly supported Muhammad Buhari, did everything and everything possible, including aiding him with money. Could some of those money be, have been used to purchase these admonitions that were given to this Fulani headsman to ensure to a, a APC win the election in 2015? A question. Let's continue. Kawu Baraje was formerly a member of the PDP who later deflected to APC in 2018 following what other issues that happened during the party. You know, after the statement was made, Femi Fani Kayode and many Nigerians have reacted, saying there are clear indications that Buhari compromised and gave us a fake result of what happened in 2015. Nigerians have been calling for President Muhammad Buhari to resign immediately. But will it happen is a question. Will it happen? Tell me if I need many Nigerians, I mean, the reactions are too much. I mean, if I want to begin to read them, they are too much. One said, the 2015, a must-win election, so it was at the plight of Nigerians. Now they take blood for it. I mean, there are so many, many, many reactions. But what are we saying here? 
Nigerians have reacted in no small way. And it's very painful to be very candid. It's very painful. Now, this, he has come up and has explained to us what really happened, how it all went down. Thank God for what has really happened. Thank God that these people have finally been exposed, you know, of their activities and their atrocities and what they have done. There are too many evidences to show that Muhammad Buhari or what we have in Nigeria is currently what we call fraud. And when you have, you know, when you go to the court of law, you don't go there to say, ah, they lied against me. Hey, it's not me. He's the one. She's the one. No, no, no. You don't do that. What do you do? You go there proving, going there with your what evidences. They call it presenting your evidences beyond all reasonable doubt. So this is what is currently happening. This is what is currently happening. That, you know, people know. Look at this APC chief team on his birthday saying this is what happened. This is what went down. This is what happened. And that's why, you know, people must, we must stand up. We must continue to speak. We cannot be quiet. What happens when we speak? This news I'm we, 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 we're presenting to you, right? This news goes all over the world. This news goes all over the world. And guess what? Everybody is hearing. Everybody is knowing what exactly is going on. And that's why... Nigerian government cannot hide for too long. See what Buhari cleverly did. Everybody's watching him. After answers, the very people he gave the order to go on and kill civilians, which has never been before, guess what he has done? He has given them ambassadorial position to hide them, to shield them from the crime. You can shield them from Manu. You can shield them from international criminal courts. Can you shield them from God Almighty? I will answer that question myself. The answer is no. So what do you think these people are trying to achieve by these uh, behaviors? They are not going, they're not going to get very far with it. No, they will try, but they won't get very far because there is God who takes care of his own. And all that is currently happening today is unacceptable in any way, form or kind, my people, is not acceptable. And that's why I want to plead with every one of you. We must all stand up together and let our voices be heard. Please don't be silent. Let your voice be heard. You have a voice. I have a voice. Let's speak up. Let's not allow them to be clad our voice. No, not anymore. They can do it before and get away with it. But today, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You see? So my people, this is what it is. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.